हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन प्रीवियस डिस्कशन वी हैव सीन टू सेक्टर इकोनॉमी विदाउट सेविंग हियर इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस सर्कुलर फ्लो ऑफ इनकम इन अ क्लोज इकोनॉमी टू सेक्टर इकोनॉमी विद सेविंग्स एंड इन्वेस्टमेंट हियर इफ यू टॉक अबाउट प्रीवियस लेक्चर इन प्रीवियस डिस्कशन ऑफ द सर्कुलर फ्लो ऑफ इनकम वी हैव अज्यूम दैट ऑल इनकम विच इज हाउस होल्ड रिसीव दे स्पेंड इट ऑन द कंज्यूमर गुड्स एंड सर्विसेस as a result circular flow of money speeding speeding and income remains undiminished we will now discuss if household save a part of their income how their savings will affect money flow in the economy when household save the, their expenditure on goods and services will decline to that extent and it and as a result result money flow to the business firm will contract with a reduced money receipts firm will hire fewer work workers for a lay off uh, uh, or lay off some workers or reduce the factor payments they made uh, they make to suppliers of factors uh, such as a uh, workers this will lead to fall in a total income of the households thus savings reduce reduce the flow of in uh, money expenditure to the business firm and will cause a fall in the economy's uh, total income economists therefore call saving as a leakage from the money expenditure flow in a free market economies there is a there 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 exist a set of institutions such as a banks insurance insurance companies financial houses stock markets where household deposit their savings all these institutions together are are called financial institutions or financial markets we assume that all the savings of households come in the financial market we further assume that there are there are no inter households household borrowings in a business firm who borrow from the financial market investment in capital goods such as a machines factories tools and investment trucks uh, sorry instruments trucks firms spend on investment uh, in order to expand their produ productive capacity in future thus through investment expenditure by borrowing the savings of the households deposits deposited in the financial markets are again brought into the expenditure stream and as a result total flow of spending does not decreases now if you see the diagram in previous discussion we have seen uh, how uh, two sector economy without saving here we will consider the savings and investment now as i told you already that there are two places in the two sector economy that is what households and firms same mechanism that is so households are giving factors of production to the uh, firms that is that consist of land labor capital and entrepreneurship so whatever factors of production are there which are given by the household to the firm and in return firms are giving uh, factor income to the households so uh, here if you see the arrows it is going towards the household so that are factor incomes so they are equal to factor payments because here firms are making payments to the households and that is income for household so it is a income of household and payment made by the firms so both are equal to each other each other over here factor income consist of what wages rate of interest profits okay likewise uh, uh, then if you see uh, lower part of the diagram here you will see that flow of goods and services as i already told you in previous discussion that is flow of goods and services going towards the households because after production of goods and services firm will sell that goods and services to the households because they are producers as i told you already that is that is firms are producing units they are producers and households are a consumer so in this way firms will give all the goods and services to the households and in return here households will make will make a payments payments for what whatever goods they are purchasing and whatever services they are purchasing so that is nothing but your expenditure here households are spending money in order 
to get goods and services and it is nothing but consumer expenditure so consumers are spending on goods and services over here now if you see middle part of the diagram over here s financial market and i now s is what s is nothing but your saving households sometime they do save out of their total income whatever income they do receive out of that total income they do receive certain amount of a uh, income uh, it is nothing but uh, as we all know that is what income is equal to consumption plus saving okay formula of income is what income is equal to consumption plus saving so after consumption whatever consumption they are doing after consumption whatever remaining part is there it is nothing but your saving so whatever saved part is there that's supposed to be deposited to the financial market financial market as i told you already that financial market consists of various financial institutions and various banks i would say various insurance companies that, that we can consider so financial markets consist of this all the things so financial market they are having now they are having a savings of a households and what they do they do lend that money to the firms now this i is nothing but your investment now who do invest this um, this money or who do invest firms because as i told you already firms are producers so they do invest in various uh, businesses so whatever saved part is there it is going towards the firm not directly but indirectly through financial market and it is converted into the i would say uh, investment so saving of a household it becomes a in, uh, capital for the firms so therefore households they do save out of their saving they supposed to deposit their money or income remaining income or savings in a financial market and financial market being a intermediary they do make a certain amount of a profit out of total transactions and they do lend amount of money to the firms and therefore now firm they are having a adequate or ample amount of a capital in their hand so that they can proceed with a further investment procedure so here we are considering savings and investment uh, purpose over here in previous discussion what we have seen households were not saving they were not saving if you see assumption you will realize that we have said that households they were not saving any any part of the income here wh what we are considering they are saving it means in previous uh, discussion uh, uh, savings and investment both were equal to each other here these savings are supposed to be considered as a, uh, i would say leakages whereas if they are not used for the purpose of investment they are supposed to be considered as a uh, leakage uh, of a circular flow of money okay certain amount of money taken out of the process and that is the saving that is the leakage but if entire savings are invested then it becomes a, i would say injections investments are nothing but injections so if savings and investment both are equal to each other then there is no problem in economy economy will proceed or without any obstacle or development of economy will uh, go uh, further but if savings are greater and investments are lesser then here we can say that uh, development or investment or uh, production uh, will go down and it will definitely affect the economy in negative way so therefore uh, basically what we expect that is saving supposed to be equal to the investment and then only economy is in equilibrium so i hope you have understood two sector economy with uh, savings and investment uh, and comparative uh, discussion whatever we have done in previous uh, discussion that is what without saving and here with savings and uh, investment players are same just certain things which we have changed that is what saving and investment we have added so i hope you have understood thank you very much